In this video, we take a look at Akidio's new Thunder 3 Dock Pro with 10 gigabit ethernet. How's it going ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? This is the Akidio Thunder 3 Dock Pro. It features dual Thunderbolt 3 ports and it has as the headline feature 10 gigabit ethernet which will give you plenty of hardwired network bandwidth. You also get a CFast 2.0 slot and an SD card 4.0 slot that supports UHS-2 card. So here it is folks, the Thunder 3 Dock Pro from Akidio. Let's see what's inside the box, of course. You get documentation to help you along there. Underneath that, you get the dock itself. We'll set that aside for now. Let's find out what else is in this box. So you get some accessories in this little box here. Let's open that up. Whoa, that power brick is a little large and in charge. That is a 150 watt power brick. So obviously not gonna be super portable with that power brick, but it is going to allow you to have 60 watts of power delivery to your MacBook Pro, as well as powering all the other accessories that you may have connected to the dock. You also get a 0.5 meter passive Thunderbolt 3 cable, and you get the power cord that connects to the power brick to power on your dock. Okay, so here's what you've been waiting for. Let's go ahead and unwrap the Thunder 3 Dock Pro and see what this thing's all about. All right, so first impressions, nice build quality. You get that solid aluminum chassis, that polished brushed aluminum on top. And the most important thing, of course, the IO headline by 10 gigabit ethernet. You can see you have eSATA, a couple of USB ports on the back, the 10 gigabit ethernet port, a couple of Thunderbolt 3 ports, display port, and your power input as well. There's also a switch to turn off the fan. If you want to do that, you can do so for up to 30 minutes. We'll discuss that a little bit later. On front, you get another USB 3.0 port, CFast 2.0 card slot, and UHS-2 SD card slot 4.0. So you can see, not an overly large device, fairly small, that's gonna fit nicely on your desk. You can see, compared to the Google Pixel XL, and of course you get some stickers in typical Akidio fashion, they include those as well, along with some cable ties. So here's the instruction manual that will tell you all about the do's and don'ts. And of course, like I said, you do get that Thunderbolt 3 cable as well. So here it is, folks. The Thunder 3 Dock Pro, if you're a creative professional who often works with large media files, say from photos or videos, you're shooting to CFAS cards or UHS-2 enabled SD cards, this can be a dock that enhances your workflow. And especially so though, if you're connecting to a 10 gigabit network. Now to be honest, having 10 gigabit network devices is probably gonna be more of a rarity if you're a home user, but if you're in an office that has a 10 gigabit network already, this allows your MacBook Pro to easily connect to that. So once you connect via Thunderbolt 3, the Akidio logo will start to glow blue instead of amber. And then you'll also see a status light on the left side of the ethernet port. And that tells you what type of connectivity you're currently using. If you're using 10 gigabit ethernet, it's going to be amber. And if you're using just normal gigabit ethernet, it's going to be green as it is here. So let's switch back to our 10 gigabit ethernet port on our Synology NAS. And now it's showing 10 gigabit ethernet connectivity on our dock. So the nice thing about this NAS, the DS1817, is that it features 10 gigabit ethernet built into the NAS itself. So what's the difference? Well, here you can see a Blackmagic disk speed test using a normal gigabit ethernet connection. And just not all that fast. This is connecting to my Synology NAS. And now I switched over to 10 gigabit ethernet and you can see the difference is fairly apparent right off the bat, much faster connectivity. So you also get a UHS-2 card reader and a CFast 2.0 card reader. So UHS-2 SD cards obviously are a lot faster. You can see the speed there, the write speed and the read speeds are much faster than you get with the standard SD card. Now, while the fan on the dock isn't overly loud, it is definitely audible. And you can turn it off like that for up to 30 seconds at a time. So that's good if you need to do a voiceover and you need dead quiet. Now, I mentioned this, <laughs> this power brick before. You can see it's almost as large as the dock itself. So that's going to hinder the portability of this dock. There's also a little build quality issue in my pre-production unit. So you can see it right there. The screws that attach that top plate are a little bit misaligned. Akidio assures me that this is a pre-production issue and that it won't occur on units shipping to customers. So ladies and gentlemen, that has been our hands-on look at the Akidio Thunder 3 Dock Pro. 
It's a product that's obviously aimed at creative media professionals, perhaps even in an office environment where there's access to a 10 gigabit ethernet network. And in some cases, even home users stand to benefit, especially if you're connecting to your NAS using 10 gigabit ethernet. You can find the Akidio Thunder 3 Dock Pro for about 350. So what do you all think? Let me know down below in the comments. This is Jeff with the 9to5 Mac.